da da do with the Pi Gamer. Hello, everybody. I am the Pie Master, and uh, welcome back to the Summer of Nostalgia. Today, we are playing another game from 2010 with the Summer of Nostalgia, since we are currently playing games from 2010 to 2015. So, I'm gonna start a new game. I haven't played this game in a while. This is Kirby's Epic Yard. Much like Donkey Kong Country, the Kirby series was rebooted in 2010 for the Wii. Not really rebooted, but I guess revived, brought back. It's not really a reboot, I guess. Eh, sort of it's a reboot. I don't know. But there hasn't been a Kirby game in a long time. A cape sorcerer going on. Yarn. Yarn, wow. Wow. Look at that poorly animated Kirby. Seriously, Kirby doesn't even have, like, a normal 3D model in this game. It's just, like, sprites. I kind of like the announcer in this guy's name. The Metamato. That was a bad idea. So now you get to the sock. No, Kirby got socked. Oh no, poor Kirby. I wonder what happened to Kirby. Oh no, Kirby's made of yarn. This grass feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like pants. It feels like pants. Kirby, how do you know what pants so feels like? Body was made how? Yarn. Then he yeah, your body's made of yarn. A blue yarn boy. It's a yarn boy. A blue yarn boy. Somebody help me. I do really like the uh, announcer with this game. I mean... There's no, like, voice acting for any of the characters, but it's all done by this, like, one dude doing, like, impressions and whatnot. I mean, I kind of like it. It has a certain charm to it. Which, for Kirby, really isn't that abnormal, because Kirby transforms into a lot of different things. Uh -huh. Yeah, but, I mean, Kirby already had the power to transform into other stuff. I don't know. In terms of, like, the two yarn games we have, um, Kirby's Epic Yarn and Yoshi Woolly World, Yoshi Woolly World is probably the better of those two. Thanks for saving me. What's that? You say you're from another world? Wow. Welcome to Patchland. You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. Fun fact, this game was actually intended to just be with Prince Fluff, but they changed it and they were like, you know what? Let's let's throw Kirby in there. We need a new Kirby game. So they did. And Prince Prince Fluff became player two. So basically Kirby has this weird like I don't get it. I don't know what it is, it's weird. Can I just move on? No, I can't. That's disappointing. I wanted to just leave. And go on for the first level. But I guess I gotta do the castle level. One player. So, yeah. Let's play the game. With minimal story. I mean... It was still like three minutes of story, but I mean... Not really all of it was... Yay, tutorials! Because modern gamers don't know how to figure out how to play games. Well, I mean, I feel like another reason a lot of modern games try to teach you is because they can. I mean, back in the, you know older days of games, you couldn't really do that. Get away, he. Yeah. I sort of gotta just, like, keep getting this guy. Gotta keep getting this guy. Boom. Use that Super Mario World up throw strats. Heck yeah. Alright, so Kirby's a submarine. I don't know, this was definitely a very different Kirby game. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it was the Kirby game they should have rebooted the series with. Also, what is up with, like, 2010, um, or, like, 2010-ish, like, 2009, 2010, like, with, uh, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and this game all have, like, a weird, like, they're trying to be, like, widescreen. When you're not playing and 
Like, if you're playing in, like, standard resolution, it, like, tries to make it, like, widescreen. Like, I don't get it. Like, that yarn on the side is kind of... It's not even, like, cool-looking yarn. Like, it's, it's, it doesn't even look good. But it's got to be there. Because if it's not there, it's just darkness. Well, that serves both um, Dung Gun Country Returns and... Um... Um, New Super Mario Bros. Wii pretty well, so... Yeah, I don't even care. No, but I mean, this I, I this was like the first Kirby game I really played, and I kind of regret that because it's not even that... It's an okay game. It's not an awful game, but... It's also not that great of a Kirby game. Like, I later thought, you know, I like this uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Let's uh, play the next game that came out, um, which was Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Now it was a return, all right. <laughs> I mean, it was a good game. I, I definitely, pre I, I'm be honest. I definitely pre pre prefer Return to Dreamland over, um, over uh, this game here. Now I will say that was a game where I kind of liked the multiplayer. Because of the fact that the game didn't have a live system. So you weren't like sharing lives. It was much more, you know, you guys are helping each other on the journey. It was almost like more helpful. I don't know. But I, I enjoyed it. Alright, let's see if we can get the five stars. I think we can at least get three, right? Alright. But you know it's a Kirby game because they gotta do the dance, you know? You know, it's a Kirby game, they do the dance. They gotta do, do the dance, they gotta do the dance, duh. I hope we got that synced up good, Jeff. So. There we go, we got the gold star. We got all three of the bonus places. That's a big part of this game. It's not a hard game, because if you die, you sh lose a little bit of money. Yeah, okay. Uh. Oh, my voice there for a second. Um, Yin Yarn. Okay, I really don't care much about this story. I know the story. Yes, yes, thank you. Basically, Yin Yarn's a bad guy. He tore apart the land, and that's bad. So, we apparently found a yarn piece that allows us to stick together two parts of Patch Land. Okay, let me, let me get the map here. Maybe I can. Can I activate the map yet? I feel like I should be able to activate the map. What's happening? No, I don't want to help you with your... Hey, what's your name? What's your name, good sir? No, I don't want to go in here. Leave, leave me alone. Oh, your new home. Okay. Thanks for giving me a house. You didn't have to slap me on something on the head. Okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I'm okay. I don't really like the house, but thanks, I guess. But yeah, no, like, after playing, um... Return to Dreamland. I'm much like I, I don't know. I'm not even big on the art style in this game. But I really liked Epic Yarns um or not Epic Yarns. Woolly World's art style. Yoshi Woolly World. That game. That's how you do the yarn aesthetic. Not no. Not with simplistic I mean don't get me wrong, sometimes the yarn looks really nice. I just really, really prefer the way Yoshi's Woolly World did it. But, you know, maybe maybe that's just me being a little, I don't know, nitpicky, I guess. I don't know. Is this thing going to rise again? Rise up. Get on the clouds. And then there's this, like, sleepy owl cat thing. And there's this creepy place room. I don't know, but it's a thing. But yeah, um, I don't know what I'm even still doing here. But yeah, Kirby. 
Unfortunately, I won't be playing Return to Dreamland because the only way I played that game was I borrowed it from a friend and I don't have it, so. But I would like to get that game at some point. But anyways, uh, <coughs> um, that is, um, feel free to leave a like, a subscription, a Twitter, a Patreon, any of that kind of stuff, if you want to. But that is going to be the all for today. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye! Goodbye, guys.